the speakers who are here and uh, have accepted our invitation. Uh, it may, be, may seem surprising to put together two things so different, such as uh, financial markets and uh, real estate markets, because they are very, very different things. Uh, you know, in uh, financial markets, we have very frequent uh, transaction and uh, very high uh, frequent uh, prices and uh, transactions are very quick and uh, in, the, in, in uh, the real estate market, uh, transactions are low, uh, slow and uh, very unfrequent and uh, they seem very uh, heterogeneous uh, things and uh, may be surprising put together these things, but uh, uh, in the uh, last uh, 20 years uh, we have uh, seen uh, uh, many uh, bubbles both in financial markets and in uh, real estate markets and uh, then uh, uh, catastrophic crashes both in uh, financial markets and in uh, real estate markets. And uh, we are, uh, in our opinion, uh, this uh, happens because uh, prices uh, does not uh, reflect uh, uh, values and at least uh, in the extreme uh, uh, up and downs of the market. So uh, this is a common feature of these two markets and uh, we want to uh, try to understand some things. Uh, we think that there is uh, some uh, common force, I don't know, perhaps, uh, let me say, perhaps an animal spirit, I don't, I don't know how to call it, which drives this uh, phenomena in both markets. And this uh, meeting uh, aims to shed some light on this phenomena, I hope. I, I'm sure that uh, we are not able this evening to understand why this happens, but I hope that uh, we are able to shed some lights on this phenomenon. This is the aim of this uh, meeting. So uh, I, I conclude uh, thank, thanking again all of you and uh, I pass uh, the floor to Giacomo who will introduce our speakers.